So what does the Kraken do? Because I, I think there's a lot of misconception out mm. there as to what the Kraken actually does. Yeah, so in, you know, I like to equate it to imagine our XP8 or you know, these, all these AC plug devices. Look, like a regular power strip. It. Power strip. Okay. Yep, plugs right into it. But with this device, we have a super brick mm -hmm. that is DC powered. So you take all of these bricks, all these devices. The from black bricks, bricks, the, the black bricks, the black bricks that come yep. with everything. And now you plug these into the Kraken. And the super brick takes over and the Kraken running all your devices from one single power so, supply. So what do you do with the black bricks? You can get rid of them. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of CVTV. My name is Carlos and I'm here with David Dakin, owner of hey. Coralview. So we're here back in uh, Southern California, yeah. you know, in the same room again. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so let's talk about what's new now. I know that uh, the Kraken has been kind of buzzing. Yeah. It's got a cool name. Yeah. But also, what is the Kraken? Let's go yeah, over that. I think the, the simplest uh, term for Kraken is it's a power distribution center. So think of all these black bricks you got to, you know, deal with, with every device now, pumps and whatever, wall warts, whatever you want to call them, they're pain. And yeah. Yeah. it's, uh, you know, you can throw them on the floor, you got to mount them, but at the end of the day, they're, uh, they're burdensome. Yeah, every single, pretty much every device, every hardware device that we have out there has a power brick. Yep. So for every pump that I have, I have a corresponding power brick that I have to find it's a place yep. for it. And then not only that, they get hot. Oh yeah. And then if you yes, use the double-sided tape, if you don't use the correct double-sided tape, like, hey, <laughs> you know, it comes uh -huh. down and if it falls down into the yep. sump, that's a big problem. And then another thing too is they all have that IEC power cord on yes. the end of them. And sometimes those things over time, you'd be surprised just from heat and all, It'll just separate. barely separate, and next thing you know, you don't have power. How I've many, seen it. I've like, <laughs> how many times do I get people saying it's like my pump's not working anymore? Yeah. And then I go, well, did you check the power cable? Mm. You know, just make sure that it's connected. And then I either get you an email. I, I I get an email back saying it's like, oh my god, I'm so yeah. you know, I'm so beep or whatever, <laughs> and, and, and or or I don't hear back from them at all, yeah. which at that point well, I know it's know. like, yeah, <laughs> I know what happened. I'm like, hey, there's nothing, you know, I'm not judging because I've been, I've, I've done it before too. Yeah. I've done it before. It's kind of like the support is like, it's, the print's not working. Well, mm -hmm. did you turn it on? Yeah. Oops. You know, exactly. But so what does the Kraken do? Because I, I think there's a lot of misconception out mm. there as to what the Kraken actually does. Yeah. So, in, you know, I like to equate it to imagine our XP8 or, you know, these, all these AC plug devices. Look, like a regular power strip. Power strip. Okay. Yep. Plugs right into it. But with this device, we have a super brick. Mm -hmm. that is DC powered. So you take all of these bricks, all these devices. The black bricks, bricks, the black main, bricks, the black bricks that come yep. with everything. And now you plug these into the Kraken and the super brick takes over and the Kraken running all your devices from one single power so, supply. So what do you do with the black bricks? You can get rid of them. Oh, okay. And now you eliminate another uh, heat source Okay. And burdensome and cumbersome mess you got to deal with. <laughs> hey, that's going to be good. So. Now, let me ask you a question. Are there any limitations in terms of, because electricity is not very black and white. Yeah. Okay. There's, we're talking about 12 volts. We're talking about 24 volts mm -hmm. and we're talking about 36 volts, yep. which is very common, common. in the hobby. Yeah. So, and, and, and just for everybody to know, you cannot connect a 12 volt device to 24 or 36. You'll Correct. burn it. Yeah. You'll burn it out. It'll just connect, you'll connect and go and done. Mm -hmm. And the same thing, you can connect a 24 to a 36 and vice versa. You cannot connect a 36 to a 24 because then it won't run. Right. Or it'll run at very low speed. speed. So you have to make sure that you, the voltage is there. And you can see that on the power brick, it mm -hmm. says output and it says, you know, 24 yeah. volts, you know, 2.5 or whatever amps. So what are the limitations on the Kraken? So with the Kraken, we have uh, what we call drive ports. Those, those are the are, orange ones, those right? Those are the orange ones. Okay. You've seen them on our other Hydros devices. And those are 12 volt outputs. Okay, so they, they can only run devices where the power supply actually says output 12, 12 volts, 12V. Mm -hmm. Okay, yep. all right. 
And then we have what we call force ports. And those are the red ones? Red. How many force ports do we have? Uh, eight. Eight, okay. And those are limited to 24, 24 volts. So volts. the output has to say, output, the, I'm sorry, the power supply has to say 24 volts. Yep. If this says 24 volts, then you can you can replace that power supply with Correct. the force port. Yeah. Okay, excellent. And we have a, a max output of 20 amps. 20 amps, and so, why is that? I mean, well, why is it not 15 or 10? Well, that, that's what our super brick comes with. Okay, that's the super brick, and the yep. super brick is made by Meanwell. Meanwell. Okay, so it's a, it's a, 20, it's a 480 watt, mm -hmm. 24 volt, yep. and 20 amp power, power supply. Yep. So technically, for a, a normal US home, the super brick will never be the bottleneck. Right. The bottleneck would be actually the, uh, the box mm -hmm. because the box has a, 20 amp, a, a 15 amp or a 10 yeah. amp super circuit breaker. Mm -hmm. So obviously, if you have a 10 amp circuit breaker, you're going to reach the limit on the circuit breaker before you do the, 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 the mean well. Mean well. The, the fun mean well. And let's talk about the mean well a little bit, yes. this power supply, because people are telling me, oh, what happens if the mean well fails? And, you know, I want to mention that this is not your typical black one. Black. No. You know, this is a industrial grade. It's it's referred to as an industrial grade power supply by Meanwell. Mm -hmm. So they'll actually have consumer grade power supplies. Which are the black ones? With black ones. Then they go to their industrial grade and then they go to a medical grade. And what's the difference between the industrial and the medical? The the point of failure. Okay. So industrial has a, a two percent failure rate and medical has less than 1% failure wow. rate. Wow. So these things are really robust. They're, they're very proud uh, of these power supplies and how reliable they are. Well, Meanwell is considered the standard yeah, when it comes to power supplies. Yeah. Again, it's a company that is meant. It, yeah, th that's all they do. That's what they do. Mm -hmm. uh, here at Hydros, we're not creating power supplies. Right. No, we, we yeah. don't want to get into that one right, right there. But you know, let's just get the power supplies from a company that does this. Yeah on a regular basis because they have developed the R&D. Yeah. And also the Meanwell uh, power supply is IP. IP65 rated. So 65. now, you know, if you, you put mount this, uh, you know, to the floor or to the side of the cabinet, and it takes a wall of water, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. It's sealed. It's sealed. Fantastic. Like, will the Kraken be able to dim my lights or will the Kraken be able to lower the speed of the of the pump or will the kraken replace the regular controller that i get with my pumps yeah why not because that's not a, a driver okay. a driver circuit in it it's strictly a, a power giver a power source power source like the like the brake so the yeah. the kraken is replacing the power supply yeah. now let's let's t let's talk about a pump a pump usually is composed of the pump mm -hmm. where the propeller is yeah. then there is a controller where you can have a dial and you mm -hmm. can configure the, in the intensity and so yeah. forth and that is connected to the power supply correct all right and so, the pump needs a, a driver output which is, is the which controller. is the controller with the mm -hmm. dial list Correct. So what you're doing is the Kraken is only replacing the power supply. Mm -hmm. Unlike the wave engine, where the wave engine also re replaces both the power supply Correct. and the driver, so you're left with the pump. Yep. So the Kraken is not a wave engine, mm -hmm. it's just a power source. Now, the Kraken can power a wave engine. Yes, so, because again, because the wave engine has, has a, a power drive. supply, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, because when you get a wave engine, you have the pump yep. to the wave engine to a Meanwhile, power supply. Mm -hmm. So I can grab that meanwhile power supply, take it out, and connect my wave engine directly to the Kraken yeah. and get rid of the wave engine's power supply. Correct. Nice. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That's good. So let's talk about the other great feature about the Kraken, which is the battery backup. Mm. Yeah. This is this is the big one. This is the big one because what I love about it is that not only are you doing power battery backup, but you're also opening up to just using a regular lead acid battery. Mm -hmm. Cheap yep. lead acid battery from Amazon, yep. from AutoZone and everything. It's like, or your boat, a boat battery. Yeah. You your so, all, a boat so, marine supply. So we don't have to pay the reef tax? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay, so what is it? What is the battery? Yeah, so the, the battery, battery backup feature is the Kraken has a battery charger built into it. So we don't supply you with a battery. Mm -mm. We supply the chargers on board. We also supply a battery cable. So mm -hmm. this will go from the Kraken with terminals to your battery. 
And that's how it'll run. And that'll run. But it's only it's only a lead acid battery. Correct. Correct. As as as, as the product spray. as the product comes out of the box, it, it only supports lead acid battery. Correct. Why lead why lead acid only? Why not lithium ion? Well, it's it's a it's a risk factor. Mm. It's 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 the danger factor. I've seen some videos out yep. there, you know, yeah, you YouTube. Know, the cell phones. Yes, uh, or know, the little scooters. Like yeah, yeah, exactly. Catch fire. Yeah, exactly. So we, we, didn't wanna, we didn't want to put that out there. However, we are giving people an option if they want to take it upon themselves. You can override our bat lead acid battery charger. Yeah, so what you do is you remove, you obviously unplug yep. the Kraken yep. first, okay, and then remove the four screws. Mm -hmm. Inside there's going to be two pins. Yep or two little switches, jumpers, yeah. jumpers, and then just move the jumpers. We'll have instructions yeah. for that. And as soon as you do that, then what happens at that point? You, you have officially disabled our charger. So the problem, so the, so, so the risk factor is not on, on the us. use yep. of the battery. It's actually on the charging of the battery. Correct. If, the bat, if, a lead acid, if a lithium ion is not charged correctly, mm -hmm. it could cause problems. Correct. Same thing with a... Um, uh, any lead acid. It's just the way you charge a battery mm -hmm. can can be if it's not done correctly can be a risk. I mean, have you seen those laptops when they start yeah. to blow, blow up? up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That, that that's scary. a lit that's scary. Yeah. Exactly. So that's what it does. So when you when you move the jumpers, then you're disabling the charger. Mm -hmm. So the question now is, okay, I'm disabling the charger. I'm safe. I yep. get a power outage and the battery is used. Then my power comes back. So how do I charge the battery now? Yeah, so you would have to purchase a, a lithium ion charger. If you're using a lithium ion yeah. battery. Okay, Correct. so then you use that. Amazon has different yeah. chargers that are like $200, $300. Mm -hmm. And they, let's be honest, those chargers are going to do a far better yeah. job of charging your battery safely and extend the life of the battery more mm -hmm. than, than the Kraken will. Yeah. But at the end of the day, let's remember, the Kraken is not there to save the battery mm -hmm. life. The Kraken is there... To save this. To save the tank. Yeah. You know what? The battery, if something happens to the battery, honestly, yep. personally here, it's like, I don't care about the battery. Yeah. As long as this is alive, right. I'll go and buy another battery if yeah. I want to. But yep. if I don't want to do that, then you can buy a special charger. Yep. I'm not saying that the Kraken won't do it correctly, but the special charger that you mm. buy at Amazon is going to do a far better, better job, job. Of doing it and when you do a far better job of charging then the battery is going to have a, a much better longer yeah. life that's just the way it works yeah okay so now another question i get a lot is like um can i use multiple batteries at the same time absolutely you can have a bank uh, a wall of batteries wow yeah all right and then the batteries are rated you know a lot of people talk about batteries and they talk about okay so how much how long will my power How battery last? And I think it's a lack of understanding. Mm -hmm. How does a battery work? Okay, let's, let's talk about a battery. A battery is rated in kilo uh, in, in amps amp per hour. hour. Yep. It's called amp power. Mm -hmm. And what does that mean? That means that the battery, if the battery is being drawn one amp, mm -hmm. whatever you're using on the, ba on the Kraken is drawing exactly one amp, yep. it'll last you one hour. Yeah. Correct? Mm -hmm. So a 20 amp hour 20 amp means hour. if you're drawing one amp, amp. the battery is going to last you 12 20, hour, 20 hours. Yep. 20 hours. Obviously, that's a perfect world and it mm -hmm. doesn't happen often because it fluctuates. Right. But that gives you an idea. Yeah. So you could technically buy a 60, 100 amp hour yeah. and just put it in there, battery, and then the thing will last. Yeah, some, of these, some of these marine uh, boat batteries, you know, these uh, they use for trolling motor batteries. Mm -hmm. You can get 100, 150, 200 plus amp hours out of these batteries. And some of those pumps, I mean, an octopulse pump will draw a fraction of an yeah. amp. Yep. So that just means that if you have a 100 amp hour battery, mm -hmm. you could use three or four of those octopulse yeah. and they'll last you a couple of days, days, two, three days. Yep you know, with giving you enough flow for your tank, depending on what it is. And it, it, what really is, is important to mention, I think, is, is you can set it up in the app. Yes. What you consider critical devices if a power failure happens. It'll sense when it goes, it loses mains power. Okay. And goes into battery backup. Not only that, you know, every tank is different. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the pumps out there, the manufacturers, they, they automatically set up, they try to make it easier for people. And what they do is if you lose power, 
then the and the pump is connected to a battery, it automatically goes into a to a set default speed. Mm -hmm. The problem is that if you have a 20 gallon tank, that set default speed might be too high. Mm. But if you have a 500 gallon system, yeah. that set default speed is not going to be big enough. Right. That's not going to be intense right. enough. So the hydros gives you the option to set the speed, the intensity based on your needs. Yeah. So if I have a big tank, obviously I'm gonna probably choose a little higher speed or I'm gonna use multiple pumps. If I have a smaller tank, then I'm gonna use lower speed. Mm -hmm. It all depends on you. It gives you that versatility. Yeah. And that's the great thing about the Kraken. It just gives you that versatility of, you know, being able to program everything. Can you also program the ports so that when I go into, let's say I lose power, I want ports one, two, four to turn on, sure. to remain on, Rain on, but everything else I needed to shut, shut off, off because I want to conserve power. Absolutely. Can I do that? Absolutely. And it's all done via the app. That's it. Now, does the Kraken have a different app or do I have to learn something different yeah. on that? No, it's, it's all the same Hydros app. It's the same Hydros app and the yeah. software automatically knows when you choose mm. that you connect the pump to that, it automatically does it by itself. Absolutely. That's fantastic. I, I mean, you know, you think about this device, not just from the, the management of the, the power bricks and, and being able to streamline that, but it's, it's right now with the, the heat wave going on in the country, mm -hmm. I'm hearing a lot of rolling power outages happening. Yes, of course. You know, after about three, four hours of no power in the aquarium is when you need to get, you need to start thinking about having some circulation, some oxygen. Yeah. And I'm telling That's, you now, it's getting, I mean, it's like, I've lived in, I've lived in Chicago for 35 years. Mm -hmm. And for 33 years out of those 35 years, I had never he heard of a tornado touchdown in the Chicago area. Yeah. It's just the Lake, Mi Lake Michigan protects us. Over the last two years, I can think of six wow. where the, the tornado touched. And wow. that brings lines down. Yeah. Obviously, you know, oh, everybody, yeah. you know, especially if you live in the tornado alley, you know very well yeah. what they can do. Um, uh, so, you know, just because you live in the northern yeah, you think you're, part you're, of the, I, mean, I don't have to worry about yeah this. i don't have it's to worry like, because i live there and it's like yeah. no i live in chicago and i and i and I'm, I, unfortunately i it, it's the world we live today and yeah. i'm gonna and i have to worry about it obviously you guys in the south Hell this yeah. is this is li normal, normal life mm -hmm. you know unfortunately it is but you kind of learn how to deal with it yeah. we have we, we we're not dealing with it so just because you live in the northern part of the U.S., don't think that you're exempt from it. Right. Trust me. Yeah. Um, uh, it, it's it, happening it's everywhere. It's happening everywhere. So, and, and you think about how much time and, and, and not just money, just the, the animals yes. that we have and to have some protection to keep them alive. Well, it's us, it's us, you know, we go out and purchase these animals. Yeah. And when you purchase these animals, yes, you come with the enjoyment, but there's mm -hmm. also the responsibility, responsibility. Yeah. that you've purchased this animal. Mm -hmm. So it is your responsibility yeah. to, to keep them alive, to yeah. give them the best you can. It's kind of like getting a pet. Yeah. yeah. Because they are, just because they're fish, they're not a pet. Right. They, you have that responsibility you have yeah. to do. So the Kraken, there's, there's no other product out there in the market like yeah. it. No, it's really unique. And, uh, you know, not everybody uh, has the ability to, to get a generator or and uh, the, the time to go and set it up on a power outage. This, this is a, a really unique device that I think can, can help a lot of people and that's what we hope it'll do. Well, so when are we releasing the Kraken? I, I wouldn't say about uh, another two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> that's fantastic. Yeah. Well, thank you, Dave. As yeah, always, thank you. thank you for being here. And everybody, thank you for visiting us. Thank you for watching us. If you have any questions, please head over to support.coralview.com. One of the reps will be able to help you. Otherwise, check us out on Facebook. And so we'll see you later. And uh, thank you for watching.